So, not only the last joke, um, it will be given by Rasan. He comes from India. He's, a, he's still a student, and he did uh, the sum of code for Google. And at that time, he has the opportunity to dig into scientific computing and uh, for JRuby, for instance. But also, he did a lot of work on uh, GPU computing, and uh, he developed a uh, binding for Ruby and JRuby on uh, CUDA, which is a C++ framework for GPU, GPU computing. So you see that he has a quite good understanding of scientific computing. Please welcome him with me. Uh, thanks, Chris. Uh, hi, I am Prasoon. And I'll be talking about scientific computing on JRuby. So the main objective of this talk is to uh, to tell you know, tell you how to create a great uh, gem or tool that uses JRuby and that can that's really highly efficient and has a very good speed. And uh, this is all because a scientific library that I worked on is uh, memory intensive and speed counts. So I'd like to share my experiences with that. Next, I will be uh, introducing introducing you to the general purpose GPU library that I worked on and uh, this this was after my GSOC and uh, this library can be used for industry in uh, production and academia for research and yes it can be integrated with rails so SciRuby is also called as a Ruby science foundation and uh, it has been trying to push uh, Ruby for scientific computing uh, some of the popular SciRuby gems that we have currently are uh, and matrix, Taru, mixed models, Nyaplot, IPython notebook, and many more. So these are the most uh, commonly used ones. So what N matrix is? N matrix is a SciRuby's uh, numerical matrix score. It helps you to uh, perform linear algebra calculations on your CPU, and uh, it has support for both uh, uh, dense matrices and sparse matrices. Uh, basically, it helps you to analyze uh, matrices, which you might have studied in your uh, high school where you used to solve linear equations using uh, matrices. And uh, N matrix uh, for MRI relies on uh, Atlas, CBLAS, C LAPAC, and standard LAPAC libraries for its linear algebra operations. Uh, these uh, libraries are state of the art libraries because they are written in Fortran and are highly efficient and are used uh, for number crunching. So, this is how you use an N matrix gem. You just require it, and uh, in the first one, uh, second line of code, I uh, create an N matrix. Uh, this you can see that it's a, a two dimensional matrix of uh, three rows and three columns followed by the elements it contains, and the type of the matrix is float 64, which is actually double. So double is uh, used by, for scientific computing because it has a high precision, and you can't use simply float 32 or float. So I created a ma matrix of three by three. Uh, you can see that it's a row major format, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, nine. Uh, I, and in the next line of code, I just add these two matrices. And in the uh, third line of code, I create, calculate the determinant of uh, this matrix. Uh, next, Daru. Daru is what Pandas is for sci-fi. Uh, it helps you to load data f into a data uh, into a data frame from, uh, uh, say, uh, Excel file or CSV files or TSV files, and then you can analyze this data. So in this. Uh, uh, Code, what I've done is that I simply require Daru. In the second line, I just uh, load this uh, data from uh, alien species.csv. And uh, next I do is that I create a vector and uh, I just, uh, I just uh, show this uh, data frame. Now next is uh, mixed models. So after you have loaded the data, maybe you want to perform some computations like uh, model this data. So this can be done by mixed models gem. And uh, in this, uh, Code, I, I, uh, we, cre we try to calculate the fixed effects and random effects of this model. And thus, we can also use this to predict uh, for some random data. Uh, next is uh, Nyaplot. Any scientific library is uh, not successful unless we have some great visualization tools. Nyaplot serves, 
uh, fills this gap for SciRuby. It's used for 2D and 3D plotting, and it's uh, built on the top of D3. Next, uh, why you should use SciRuby instead of SciPy? Simply because we love Ruby, we love Rails, and expressiveness of Ruby. Uh, you can use, when you collect a large amount of data from a Rails app, you can just feed this data into a, into a uh, Daru data frame, and then you can perform computations, and you can use this uh, Daru as an analytics tool. Next is uh, JRuby. Uh, my project was to, uh, for GSOC was to port and matrix to JRuby, and uh, basically uh, SciRuby was trying to push, you know, push its gem towards uh, JRuby runtime because of the speed. Uh, it's actually 10 times faster than CRuby on certain aspects, and with Truffle Ruby, it's around 40 times faster. And right now, we just heard that it's going to be around 26 times faster for just JRuby Classic. So. Uh, this bird, I, I like to call it as the roadrunner because I'm just uh, dealing with speed. And uh, I want to make this uh, roadrunner go beep beep. So, N matrix for JRuby. So, N matrix for why I will build uh, N matrix for JRuby because it has uh, no global interpreter lock as in the case of MRI. So, it's a very good team player when you have a large processor with multi cores, you can utilize them. Uh, you can, uh, it can, uh, the, prog the program you develop can be easily deployed uh, you, with the help of Warbler gem. Uh, so you can use, uh, you can develop any gem on uh, JRuby or any program in JRuby and just deploy it to your supercomputers or clusters, what you have. You have. And then uh, JRuby has auto garbage collection. For whenever you develop a C extension for CRuby, you have to take care for uh, garbage collection because you are dealing with large data. And uh, in C, uh, when CRuby does the mark and sweep model, as we uh, have heard in the previous talk, that uh, this uh, mark and sweep is not uh, really good to handle. And when you have a very large matrix, say 2.5 uh, million elements in a matrix, uh, you can't uh, really, uh, means uh, speed is uh, at uh, not good in, in such cases. Next is N matrix for JRuby that I worked on. It relies on Apache Commons Math, uh, which is a Java library, and uh, it has very high, uh, good developer activity around this uh, library. So MD array. Uh, before we I built N matrix for JRuby, we had MD array that does the that uh, this N MD array gem that was just like what N matrix was for uh, uh, CRuby. It was uh, the N matrix for uh, JRuby. So when we, uh, we try to create a unified interf interface for N matrix for Ruby as well as JRuby, just like Nokogiri Noko does it, that you have a simple gem and you can run it on both uh, instance, instances. So we could have used MD array and uh, just built a wrapper around it for N, matri N matrix. But uh, indeed, this was, uh, this was not going to be a good idea because uh, it was uh, it used parallel called as a dependency, just like uh, I use Apache Commons Math. And it was uh, depreciated at the moment. And next is that every gem, when you create uh, with an N matrix, you had to re -implement, implement it using MD array, if I didn't build a wrapper around MD array. So you have to put in more effort for optimization. For example, you have to check whether the data is not getting copied, like that. So how N matrix works? Basically, N matrix can be uh, divided into, categorized into two parts, N dimensional and two dimensional. Uh, two dimensional. So, this is how you, uh, an N matrix object looks like. You have its shape, that is, uh, for example, I created a three by three matrix. Its shape is three comma three. Its uh, D type is float, or it can be anything like int, complex, like that. Uh, S type is like uh, whether you want you want to store it as a dense mat matrix or a sparse matrix. Uh, at S is basically the storage, the elements that go into a matrix. Now you have the dimen uh, add dim. Uh, this means that how many dimensions you have. For example, uh, three comma three is a two dimensional matrix. Next is N matrix architecture. Uh, basically, we have a Ruby front end here. Uh, then we have for MRI, we have a shared object extension dot SO, uh, which is built using C and C++. Now this integrates with N matrix C, uh, C library, uh, okay, sorry, a native C library, which are C blast or C lapat. And this, uh, C, uh, this C, li C library is uh, 
are bridge, uh, connected to the Fortran library uh, that's BLAST and uh, LAPAC. So basically you have three layers and uh, this one, uh, the Fortran library makes, uh, is what makes your uh, computation go fast. For JRuby, we have just extension dot jar. Uh, it, uh, it's built upon the top of Apache Commons Math. So for n-dimensional matrix, uh, the major thing uh, operator we had to build on it was uh, element-wise operation. Uh, for example, add, subtract, sign, or gamma. In the first slide where we added two matrices, uh, this was just going an element-wise operation. Uh, we iterate through the elements, we access the element, do the operation, and return it. So the major thing that counts here is uh, you have, uh, your loops should be efficient. Means you can iterate through, throughout the array, and uh, uh, whichever is the first uh, wins, whether C Ruby or J Ruby. So here in this slide, I, I show you that uh, when I created a matrix N1 and I just add them. So N1 plus N1, you get uh, this matrix. For example, 1 plus 1 get, gets 2, 2 plus 2, 4. Next, what were the challenges that were faced? First is uh, auto boxing and, multiple data, uh, and handling multiple data types. Second is minimizing the copying of data. So in JRuby, we have this that uh, when, when we uh, tried no strict typing, uh, basically direct, uh, directly creating a data using uh, uh, J Ru uh, Ruby code, uh, we got this error. For example, in this case, we have an, uh, two arrays. We just add it, and if this array is smaller than one, you, uh, you start getting the values as zero. So <laughs> I think Charles will answer, can answer me this question after this talk. And, uh, and if I uh, just simply add this uh, any number greater than one, uh, to both of them, and I subtract minus 10, so I get the correct result here. So, <laughs> next is uh, auto boxing. So, what we did was, uh, we uh, I in the, uh, the as this project was in initial stage, I just dealt with the float 64, that is doubles only, because we had to deal with ref reflection, and, uh, and that's all. Then for strict, data, we created data types using Java, and we couldn't rely on reflection for large data. For example, if you create uh, storage as array.new and storage as Java double uh, with rows and columns.new, uh, the second one will be definitely faster because you know the sh size of the array, and uh, you can uh, loop faster through, the, through this, uh, the second array. So now we have auto boxing and enumerators. This is a classic case because uh, when we tried uh, using a matrix for JRuby for real data, for example, we have a 5, point, 5, GB, uh, 5 GBs of data uh, which we get from a blog, and uh, when we try to run it, uh, we get an error here. You can see this highlighted code. I just created this array as array.new. So what happens is that you start losing precision. So if you just implement this in uh, using Java, Java code, so here you don't lose precision. Next is minimizing the copying of data. As uh, we had heard in the previous, uh, previous talk from Charles that uh, 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 JRuby takes more memory. Can you go back one slide? Yeah. So what does that uh, statement in yellow actually do? So basically what we are trying to do is uh, we take the storage. We are trying to build an enumerate, uh, enumerator that uh, each with index. Uh, we have to get elements by defined by indices. And if there are blocks passed, uh, I just want to do some computation with it. So I just con convert this storage to an array, and then I take the slice index, and I try to push it in this array. And here we start losing uh, values. For example, if we had, uh, we were trying to, uh, to factorize a matrix. So every time you do it, if the value is 0 0.02 or 0 0.03, this gets to 0. And uh, when, when, this, when you're trying to optimize something, and uh, uh, you have to iterate through this matrix, uh, you have to uh, perform the same computation through this matrix, it won't uh, uh, get optimized ever because uh, you can't uh, just go to a, a convex point where the data, where this uh, value converges. So you can't reach a minima. So next is minimizing the copying of data. So uh, whenever you build a J JRuby application, you make sure that you don't make copies of data because already it, it, it consumes twice the memory than C Ruby. So if you start uh, making uh, more copies and you have a larger matrix, it may totally make, 
destroy your G, uh, GC. For example, uh, th there was a computation where uh, C-Ruby takes around uh, 50 seconds, and when I was uh, just building N matrix for J-Ruby, it took me around 1.5 hours. So, <laughs> so after I, m I made sure that I'm not making copies of data, I took down this time to 40 seconds, which was better than C-Ruby. So you just pass by your friends, you just create a static method as helpers. For uh, We will see this example, example later. So next is two-dimensional matrix. Now you have an n-dimension matrix, and you want to per perform certain uh, computations like you need to mul multiply two matrices, or you need to factorize it. Then we use uh, two, uh, we need to just cast this uh, one-dimensional, n-dimensional matrix into a two-dimensional matrix. So uh, the basic operations here are uh, dot, which is matrix multiplication, uh, dit for calculating determinant, and factorize LU means lower upper factorization. So in N matrix MRI, we have BLAST3 and LAPAC routines that are built in uh, Fortran. But uh, N matrix JRuby was the, means it depends on Java functions from Apache Commons Maths. So the challenges were, were as follows. You convert an n-dimensional matrix into a two-dimensional matrix. So actually, n-dimensional matrix is stored as a 1D array because you can't just simply store, a, create a multi-dimensional array because you can't just uh, lay down them in the RAM properly. Now you have the array size matters, and you have to access the elements with speed. And you have to also take memory in consideration. So uh, we have an n matrix. I have to, I need to get a 2D matrix from this. So I use uh, this helper functions. Uh, uh, these are static methods for, from a matrix generator class called get matrix double, and the array generator class has a get array double. So uh, in this code, I'm trying to iterate over a matrix. Uh, two means basically a two-dimensional array. So I just benchmark this Ruby code. You can see that uh, I j in the the first line of code. Sorry, uh, we have uh, we create a Java, uh, basically a two-dimensional matrix of size 15,000 to 15,000. So basically, uh, and uh, I just benchmark this code where I place uh, I initialize the value of this matrix as the index. So this takes me around 39 seconds, and. Uh, then next, I iterate over two arrays where I just copy the elements of one uh, one array into another. So this takes me around 65.112 uh, seconds and 5.4 GB of RAM. So uh, may, so when you have such large matrix, your RAM uh, your CP, uh, your RAM will be already uh, already consumed by that time, and you can't do it for any number crunching pro uh, soft, uh, program. So yes. Yeah. So. And I do this similar thing in Java, and uh, I get, uh, for this I, uh, the time requires 0.031 seconds, and for the when we have two arrays, I, it takes 0 0.003 uh, seconds, and the RAM consumed is 300 MB. Hence, uh, speed is improved thousand times, and memory is uh, improved ten times, and this is actually uh, speed-wise better than C Ruby. But memory-wise, uh, not as good as CRuby. It's uh, CRuby has better uh, takes less memory, but uh, speed is slower. Next, also, also 15,000 is not a very large matrix, right? Yeah, 15,000 into 15,000, which is 225 million elements. Yeah. So um, there's another gem mixed models that uh, relied on uh, n matrix. And simply by porting n matrix, I just uh, ported this library to uh, JRuby 2. And uh, so you can uh, model your data uh, in JRuby now. Whoa. <laughs> now we benchmark n matrix functionalities. Uh, uh, these are the system sp specifications. We, I, I had an octa core uh, CPU and uh, a 16 GB RAM. Next, for uh, in this graph, you can see that the number of elements in a matrix this is, for example, 5,000 by 5,000 elements. We have 25 million uh, elements in a matrix. And then the, uh, on the y-axis, you can see the computation time. So lesser the compute, uh, computation time, the better the speed. So th this is a logarithmic scale. So in this case, n matrix JRuby is faster than n matrix MRI. It is around 60, uh, 40 times faster. 
Next for subtraction, uh, we have the same case. It's uh, 40 times faster. Next for gamma, we have this, uh, we compare three, N matrix MRI, then N matrix JRuby, and N matrix MRI LAPAC. You can see that on uh, N matrix JRuby, it's even faster than the Fortran code. And uh, it's a lot faster, means it's 10 times uh, faster than uh, N matrix MRI and uh, uh, MRI LAPAC, and for 400 times fast, faster than this uh, N matrix MRIs. For n matrix, uh, for matrix multiplication, uh, n matrix uh, J ruby loses to n matrix uh, C ruby or MRI because we we definitely don't have uh, Fortran libraries for this, and so any code, ca any Java code can never beat a Fortran code. Even though we have jet jetting, and this code will will get improved after running a lot of loops, but still not get better than Fortran. Similarly, for determinants, uh, it's uh, again 20 times slower. For factorization, it's uh, same 20 times slower. So these are the benchmark conclusions. N matrix uh, J ruby is definitely faster for n dimensional matrices and two dimensional matrices when element wise operations are concerned. But uh, N matrix um, uh, MRI is faster for two dimensional matrices when uh, you need to calculate the dot or uh, determinant or you need to factorize it. So how can we improve this? So uh, the solution is that we also implement the backend of N matrix J ruby uh, with Fortran, and this time it will rely on rely on uh, Java native native interfaces. And uh, there was an option to use uh, uh, another library called JBlast, which has, which is a JNI for Blast libraries and LAPAC libraries. But when I tried to use them, uh, it was uh, it had a lot of bugs, and uh, it was not uh, it, it was not efficient enough. So this would be the final ar architecture of N matrix J ruby. So we t we took this uh, left side of this diagram to this right side, and uh, overall when we do this, uh, when I tried to do a sample uh, benchmark for this, it uh, it was uh, actually faster than N matrix MRI. So maybe in uh, two months, N matrix J ruby would be faster on all aspects uh, than N matrix MRI when I implement th this part of the code. So also the future work includes implementing N matrix for complex data type and uh, adding sparse support and uh, convert N matrix J ruby enumerators to Java code for better speed. So uh, overall, whenever you try to do n any n matrix uh, any computation using n matrix j ruby it would be uh, currently as far as n matrix c, uh, c ruby or even sometimes faster because the overall calculations that rely on uh, 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 on the single dimension that would be faster in case of j ruby and obviously jit so am i done nope uh, enter gpu so uh, the, after Google Summer of Code, I wanted to be, to go even faster for uh, number crunching, and that's why I thought of uh, implementing a, G, a GP GPU library, a general purpose library for GP computations. And uh, the aim of this project was to combine the beauty of Ruby with transparent GPU processing. And yes, this will be tested on both client computers and on servers that make use of Tesla's and Intel Xeon Phi solutions. Uh, before this, uh, in the, there was no G uh, Ruby project that uh, used a G that was uh, good for GPU computation. Maximum you could do, uh, do was uh, add two matrices using uh, GPU, and uh, that also was uh, for thousand by thousand uh, matrix. But yes, uh, the RFIR library, that uh, RB library that I developed, can handle around fifteen thousand into fifteen thousand. Uh, elements matrix easily, and uh, we are yet to test it on supercomputers. So, what is RFIR actually? So, RFIR is an open source GP GPU library that is written in C++ and uses JIT. So, you, using JIT makes it even faster than CUDA and OpenCL. So, yes, uh, the competitors Py CUDA and Py OpenCL would be slower than RFIR RB. Uh, RFIR uh, RFIR has also uh, bindings to Python, 
but uh, array fire python is built using cython uh, so whenever you try to do this uh, this code is really not tested and try to uh, do some computations using array fire python on my system and uh, actually most of the times the program hang so yeah, and when i did the same thing with array fire ruby when i built it uh, for mri it was uh, it was uh, it was working properly and and uh, the speed was uh, awesome so <laughs> next is uh, array fire uh, ruby can al also help you to uh, just uh, go uh, go computing without uh, writing kernels so whenever you try to do gpu computing most of the time you end up writing kernels and uh, this is uh, this is where most people just leave gpu com uh, computing but in array fire you uh, you, ha you just have ready made formulas and it can handle matrices of any size it automatically scales so how do you use array fire uh, ruby so you just uh, in the first line of code i just created uh, an array fire matrix it's a two dimensional and uh, uh, two rows and two columns I just add these two, and uh, in the next, I, sh I show you the how we implemented blast routine where I uh, multiply two matrices, and uh, then then the third the third part of the code shows how to uh, get the determinant of a matrix. For, so let's see how the its uh, array Ruby is built for MRI. Uh, it's a C extension, and it, the architecture is inspired by N matrix and N array. Basically, array fire is written in C++. So when we try to build this library, we need to uh, handle C++ code. So for that, uh, the, these in instructions help you how to, you can do it. And uh, the most po the important point to note here is that you just get rid of this mangling errors in C++. Uh, for example, uh, this is how I implemented matrix multiplication. I just included ruby.h and uh, I created a data structure for uh, AF uh, array fire uh, object. Then I uh, then I just uh, bind it to Ruby frontend in init array fire. I create a, a function called arf matmul. So this is uh, being casted here because this is being uh, uh, this code is in, is in is actually in a CPP file and what Ruby frontend expects it is to be in a, a C file. So and next, I do do an AR of Madmul. So this this finally goes to this line of code uh, where I just ma uh, multiply it. Here you can see that uh, I this line. This line is for uh, when whenever a GPU computation is done, it's done on a GPU RAM. So you need to get this memory into the CPU RAM. So the this line helps you do, uh, do this. So when when we try to integrate array fire with uh, arrays. This line would be very helpful, and you may be wondering that why G, uh, GPU computing on Rails, because you have data. Means uh, you collect data through Active Records, and now you can just analyze it. For JRuby, the app, the approach is same as uh, N Matrix JRuby. Uh, we have the a Java native interface for Arrayfire already built, and uh, I'm, I, even I implemented some of the BLAS and LAPAC routines. Uh, this uh, wo this works on uh, Arrayfire Java. Uh, what you have for uh, for example the last example we saw we saw where we did matrix multiplication using C code, this can be easily implemented in JRuby just using this part of code. So here you can see that uh, how awesome JRuby is. Now we benchmark array fire. Uh, uh, system specifications are as follows. Uh, we have same octa core processor with 60 GB of RAM and GPU was uh, GT NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti and RAM is 4 GB <coughs> DDR5. So for in this you can I think you can see it here and this is around 10 raised to power 5 times faster than N matrix uh, Ruby and 10 raised to power 4 times faster than N matrix J Ruby and again array 5 is faster even here. It's around 10 raised to the power 6 times faster. For matrix determinants, it's around 100 times faster. Even for factorization, it's uh, array fire is 100 times faster. So transparency. Uh, after uh, actually uh, the current uh, when you f find uh, try to find array fire on GitHub, you will uh, you can see the code for actually written only for uh, MRI. 
uh, for JRuby, I, I have already done the groundwork. It just needs to be in the repo, in repo now. Can you go back to the figures? Because I think you were a bit too fast. Okay. It's more than 100 times faster to me. OK, maybe 1,000 times faster. <laughs> yeah. So transparency, uh, we need to integrate it with an array and n matrix and with rails. So the, uh, where I showed you that just uh, you just copy the uh, mem RAM from GPU to uh, CPU, uh, you can just create some function uh, methods for that. And uh, we and yes, uh, Rails is now on uh, GP GPU and uh, similarly as N array and N matrix. So what are the applications? Uh, actually, uh, Arrayfire has uh, endless. Uh, for applications, you can use it for bioinformatics. You can integrate it with TensorFlow when it's ready. So you can just create a, a GPU cluster using Arrayfire and integrate it with TensorFlow. You can use it for image processing. You can use it for computational fluid, dynam uh, fluid dynamics. So hence, uh, beep beep. <laughs> uh, these are the useful links. Uh, you can go to for N matrix. You can find it here. Uh, and uh, Arrayfire RB is here. And uh, the latest code can be uh, f uh, found on uh, uh, RFI uh, temp, uh, temp branch. Uh, I would like to acknowledge uh, my mentor, uh, Jotter Prince, and Charles Nutter, and John Woods, for, who have been very helpful to me in uh, creating this, uh, these uh, libraries, both RFI and NMatrix. Next is uh, Alexei Gossman, who, is, uh, who, who developed the mixed model gem. Uh, Samir, uh, he is uh, the developer, he developed Daru. And then uh, we have Pradeep uh, Garigipati from the RFI team. He is also mentoring me with this project. So also I'd like, I would like to thank Emerging Technology Trust, that is the organize, organizer of RubyConf India. And uh, uh, currently they have sponsored my travel uh, to FOSDEM. And thank you. Thank you very much, Prasun. Okay. We have uh, time for questions. Please. Yeah. Did you consider other libraries like Boost, SIMD, or VC for the parallelism using the the hardware? Uh, hardware for what? Uh, N matrix or RFI? For the um, sending more than one uh, one value to the processor for the computation should be done faster. Uh, see, uh, your question is basically that uh, I need to send uh, the values to more than one uh, cores for processing, right? Yes. So basically, this for, uh, the, uh, for N matrix, it is done by uh, Fortran, and Fortran is already optimized for this. It uh, lays down memory in certain way that it uses parallelism for that. So yes, it's done by that way, mm -hmm. for, and a Java code can beat that code. Okay. Next. Actually, Fortran doesn't use MMX or other processor instructions created by that after the Fortran language was defined. The, the Fortran libraries are really old for that. Um, usually, you have now two libraries in C++ that are able to do that because they know how the processor was built. The name of those libraries are VC and Boost SIMD. Okay. If you want to take a look on them later. Okay. And there is also one library that I helped to write for matrix processing, named Eigentree. That's really fast, and I think it's it's in it's for R. Oh? Eigentree is for R, right? Sorry, I didn't understand. Eigentree is for R, yeah. R language, right? No, Eigentree is C plus plus. Okay, but uh, R uses it mostly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, R C P P and R Eigen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's slower than LaPack and Blast. Okay. Next question. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, uh, so uh, great work on this stuff. I just just a request. Uh, okay. Any, anything that looks like it's a bug or you've got problems comparing to MRI, even if you're not sure, just go ahead and file a bug. Okay. We'll be able to tell you right away if there's any problem. Like that matrix thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so basically the problem is that even I don't understand whether the problem is with JRuby or it's JVM. So right. it's, it's probably us. It's probably okay. Us. <laughs> <laughs> we always assume it's us. So. Okay. 
if you added two arrays, and normally that plus would just concatenate those. So do you override? No, I didn't conca concatenate uh, those. I just add these two elements. Means two, two. For example, the array has two comma two, and other has two comma three. So we get the final array as four comma uh, five. Yeah. Yep. Means one. Okay. And it's just not adding. Right. It looks like it's, it's coercing into fixed numbers. Yeah. 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 And actually, uh, this can't be reproduced. You know, sometimes you get you know, four, t four out of ten times, you get a zero, or else uh, it works fine. Yeah. What do you see as the, the integration of this, this with Rails? Yeah. Well, like, what, what kind of integration do you think you can do? I don't understand. Uh, so basically, if you have some Maybe you can try it with Active Record. Basically, I'm not cons consulted. The, I've, I consulted uh, some uh, devel uh, Rails developers at RubyConf India, and they had inputs like uh, we can do it with uh, Rails, and so it would be widely used. Other questions? Thank you, Preston. A very good work. So our uh, last term.